In a problematic patient like this, there is now a clear, positive way to secure an airway that is within the reach of every anesthesiologist. What has long been needed is a slender instrument with just the right flexibility to negotiate a difficult airway to the trachea, but with sufficient stiffness to guide even a large endotracheal tube into place. Clear, bright optics so you can readily identify and evaluate anatomical landmarks along the way and be assured by positive visual verification when you get there. An instrument versatile enough to be utilized with many different tracheal tubes, even as small as five millimeters, plus provide positive verification of double lumen tube placement. The new generation of flexible fiber optic intubation scopes gives you all these capabilities in one instrument. We are pleased to present two prominent anesthesiologists who will discuss clinical applications and their experiences with the flexible intubation scope. Dr. Lawrence G. Cushions, attending anesthesiologist, Long Island Jewish Medical Center, and Dr. Charles Watson, Associate Professor of Anesthesiology, Critical Care Medicine, University of North Carolina. In many institutions, this has become routine prior to one lung anesthesia for major lung resections, transthoracic procedures, and esophagogastrectomy. This live action and animation will give you a clear indication of the benefits of the flexible scope. The double lumen tube is generally introduced using conventional direct laryngoscopic techniques. We use an occluding bronchoscopic adapter so that ventilation can continue via both lumina without loss of tidal volume. The patient is ventilated with 100% oxygen. Prior to one lung anesthesia, I advance the intubation scope via the bronchial lumen past the carina, and then guide the bronchial catheter into the appropriate bronchus. The right-sided catheter can be precisely located so that the right upper lobe orifice is opposite the fenestration and the right endobronchial lumen. This can be easily visualized by looking through the fenestration with the scope tip. The scope is then withdrawn while ventilation continues. I routinely observe the bronchial cuff from the tracheal lumen as it inflates and can reposition the double lumen tube if obstruction of the opposite bronchus occurs. Using this technique, the success rate with one lung anesthesia should increase and potential complications such as constriction of the lumen by overinflation of the cuff, inadvertent intubation of the left lower lobe bronchus or bronchus intermedius, and secretion plugging of main bronchopulmonary segments should be eliminated. The versatility of the flexible intubation scope provides for a number of other significant clinical applications. Endotracheal tube change, intraoperative bronchial toilet, preoperative airway assessment, ruling out aspiration, and evaluation of upper and lower airway damage are some of the other valuable applications that have been reported in the literature. Many of these uses become simple and obvious to the clinician after a certain level of comfort and expertise with the instrument has been achieved. The new generation of flexible intubation scopes has opened up new avenues toward improved patient care on a day-to-day -day basis in the operating room. A clear image and wider field of view, together with improved durability, have created a better, safer way to go. With the thin, stiffer insertion tube and suction channel, it is easier to use than standard bronchoscopes and provides a greater margin of safety and increases first-time success rate compared with other intubation instruments. Management of the airway is no longer guesswork and placement of double lumen tubes need no longer be blind. The new generation of flexible intubation scopes gives you eyes to make the position clear.